Good day, I'm Mark from Buffalo Driver Training. I'm going to do an industry hookup. Um, what I normally do when I'm driving, not as an instructor. So the first thing I do is I check my fifth wheel. I make sure there's enough lubricant on the fifth wheel. Make sure the jaws are open and the handle's open and I don't have any loose bolts on my fifth wheel. Before I hook to the trailer, I'm gonna check to make sure that the safety is valid and it matches the documents that are in the document box. I'm also going to check the inside of the trailer because dispatch told me it's an empty trailer. I want to make sure that it is indeed an empty trailer. So I'm just going to go to the back. I'm also checking visually the sides of the trailer. I'm going to open the doors. The proper way to open doors, guys, don't stand beside the door. Stand behind it. Open the door, look up, make sure nothing's going to fall. Okay, I was told this is an empty trailer. Indeed, there is. Um, I will phone dispatch and see if this is the correct trailer for my load. So, close and lock the trailer. Everything looks secure on the back of the trailer. Now I'm going to proceed with a hookup. So now I'm going to hook up to the trailer. I'm going to make sure that I'm in line and I can see that I am. My pin underneath is secure. In the truck, I'm going to make sure that I am lined up with the trailer, both my mirrors. Start the truck. Put the truck in reverse. Release my brakes. I'm going to back up underneath the trailer. I've made a hookup. Now I'm just going to tug a little bit to see if I'm, I am indeed hooked. Put my park brake back on. And for the video, I'm going to shut the truck off so there's no noise. I exit the truck. I come to the back. I visually check to make sure that my pin is in place. My handle is in place. My dollies are still down. I'm going to hook up my airlines. I make sure that my glad hand rubbers on both the truck and the trailer are free from damage. I do the inside one first, then my lights and my emergency. And at this time, I'm also going to check my lights to make sure that they're all working. My lights are on. I've charged the trailer air system to make sure that there's no leaks. Before I lift the dollies, I'm just gonna check the back of the trailer to make sure that all my lights are indeed working. All my lights on the rear are working. They're working on this, the left side. I'm also gonna check the right side as I walk down the trailer. I'm stopping, I'm checking my tires on my trailer. My lights are all working. Back to the front of the trailer. I'm checking. My lights on the top is working. And at this point, I'm going to roll up my dollies. And I'm gonna make a, another tug test once I'm complete. Whenever you're rolling up dollies, you want to make sure that you have three-point contact. Not so much in the summertime, but definitely in the wintertime. Because you can slip and that dolly crank will sometimes hit you in the head. Which uh, is a compensation looking for a place to happen. Okay, my dolly pads are all the way up. I stole my handle. 
I'm going to do four tug tests um, that you should do. A lot of people don't do it, but you should do it. I've already checked the jaws on the fifth wheel, and I've already checked the trailer brakes, but now I'm going to do four again. So I'm going to get in the truck. I'm going to do tractor spring brake, trailer spring brake, trailer service brake, and tractor service brake. And always when you're getting in and out of the truck, it's three points. Okay, once again, I'm inside. I'm putting on my seat belt, starting the truck. Now, right now, both brakes are applied. The trailer brake is applied and the tractor brake is applied. I'm gonna push in my yellow valve, which is my tractor spring brakes. So I'm gonna check against the trailer spring brake, which I already have done, but I'm gonna do it one more time. So I do a slight tug, brakes are holding. I push in the red, I pull the yellow. I'm gonna make a brake or a tug against the tractor spring brake, and it is holding. I supply air to both my tractor and trailer, and I pull the trailer brake valve, testing the spring brake on the trailer. It is indeed holding. Now I'm going to roll forward a few feet to make sure that my foot valve spring brake holds on the truck and trailer. And it does. That's the four checks that you should do whenever you hook to a trailer. Okay, that is the proper way or the industry way of doing a hookup. Uh, safe travels, drive safe, make sure that everything works before you leave the yard. Have a good day.